Bianca Lopez, and this is Be In The Know, brought to you by OWI Entail. And I have Jason Ten, the CEO of SIFT, with me, who is a first-timer at OWI. Jason, welcome. Hi, Bianca. I'm glad to be here. Jason, tell me, you're using your tagline as digital trust and safety is right here staring me in the face. And we know that this is a common use word in a world that is super complex. Tell me what about your machine uh, learning algorithm and what you're doing that is fundamentally different and how's you processing 9,000 transactions per second. Yeah, so we're taking the concepts that we learned building similar systems at Google, Facebook, and Amazon in terms of uh, minimizing risk and protecting yourself against bad actors while also providing delightful user experiences that are relatively free of friction. That uh, trade-off we think is an unnecessary one and we look at best-in-class companies that are able to uh, you know, balance both ends of trust and safety. And so with a machine learning system you're able to uh, make fewer compromises, you're able to take risks where it makes sense but then you're also able to uh, you know, add extra security steps and verification steps where it, where it also makes sense. And so, you know, really um, being more mindful and choiceful about how you uh, interact with your customers as a business is, is the paradigm shift that we're trying to push. You're using uh, one of the words that most people don't even know where to start. When you think about machine learning, often a few things come to mind as a data scientist. You think about quantity, variety, and velocity. You've talked to me about, and some of the things that you talked about is the amount of data sets that your uh, product can take into consideration, which is a, today's reality. Tell us a little bit about how that makes that trade-off no longer a need to be, and actually something that it can be equally amazing as it can be secure. Yeah, so I think historically this problem has been solved with rules-based systems yep. that are highly reactive and often generally just inaccurate. Uh, and so that forces our customers to have to hire humans, armies of humans to manually sort and review um, suspicious transactions or suspicious messages or just suspicious, suspicious activity in general. And so with a machine learning system, uh, you know, we've, we've found evidence that um, you can put a lot of data to work with simple machine learning algorithms in a secure and stable environment and have the accuracy of your decisioning drastically improved to a point where you as a business can make automated decisions on the fly, uh, sight unseen, without having to toss a bunch of people at the problem. And so, as a business, this is a really different way of operating where uh, you can decision in the moment rather than having to uh, delay and wait or inconvenience your customers while you're trying to verify who they are. And again, this is how best-in-class companies solve this problem. If you take a look at Amazon's one-click checkout, that is the you know penultimate consumer experience, and it's a big part of why Amazon has become so dominant. They're able to offer uh, you know risk-free, uh, low-friction customer experiences as their gold standard. And when you think about where we are in that journey, you have some massive clients who've been growing a lot. And you started with a background in science that was used to be in your name. So what, what is ahead and what is some of the literacy and some of what people can expect from your session on Wednesday? Yeah, so um, you know, I think this, this industry is one that is fascinating because there's an adversarial component to it. There's an enemy <laughs> who is very motivated to yeah. uh, do what they do. And this is often organized crime that we're going against. And we think it's only going to uh, increase in support sophistication and velocity as everything moves online mm -hmm. and so you know the, we have to stay on top of our game we have to continue to invest in our technology and continue to uh, make our product even better so over the next few years you can bet that we're going to continue to improve the precision and accuracy of our systems the scalability as we continue to work with more customers and really um, recognize the fact that uh, bad actors and, and bad behavior comes in all shapes and sizes. You know, we've expanded over the last few years from a, a focus on just payments fraud to also solving uh, spam and scam problems on, on the content side, fake accounts and account takeover on the account side. And so 
uh, you know, we expect that this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, human behavior uh, come, knows no, no uh, boundaries when it comes to shapes and sizes, and that goes for both trustworthy and, and non-trustworthy people. I often say this, I'm like, criminals don't do POCs, they don't care, they use the coolest, fastest technology to get to where they need to go. So if you're wondering what SIFT exactly. is all about and how they're changing and leading the way in digital trust and safety, Make sure you attend Jason's session on Wednesday and stay in the know. Thank Jason for joining me and I'll see you in Vegas.